has to be the last of the day. I'm spent. I want to reduce these complex rational expressions. What makes them complex? My numerator has a fraction. My denominator has a fraction. So let's go and let's reduce that action by multiplying top and bottom by a common factor. On up over here, I need a common denominator of all the denominators. See these? My common denominator gotta be 6x. 6x. What's next? I'm gonna multiply top and bottom by that common denominator. So that's a, a 6x times the top and a 6x times the bottom. Come on, marker. So then it goes, it goes, it goes, ooh, ooh, and then that's a, a 6x times a 6 over x plus a 6x times an x, and then that's all over. Oh, look at that. Leave it alone? Yeah, sure. Don't touch it. Leave it alone. 6x, oh, that worked, times an x squared plus 6 all over 6. And some of you have that sense that can't I, ooh, ooh, you could, but then you just have to factor it out in order to reduce. And I see that I can reduce over here with the x's. Uh, uh, oh, so then I have a that's 36 plus 6x squared. Yeah, and on the bottom, this is why, this is why. Uh, uh, oh, and then I have, get down there, an x times an x squared plus 6. Now, wait, let's see if we can factor and reduce this further. In the top, I see I have a common factor of 6. So then I pull out a 6, and I have a 6 plus x squared. All of that! x times an x squared plus 6. Do I have anything that can reduce? Oh, I deduce that this is 6 times x squared plus 6 over x times x squared plus 6. Now look at that. I use my commutative property to rewrite that in that order that I see to be clear that uh, uh, oh! And then when the dust settles, you're left with a 6 over x. <laughs> Box and flower. So is this marker. It's been my experience that people don't like it when you throw things at them. Let's throw this next problem at them. Yeah. So you're like, that doesn't look like a complex fraction. My numerator doesn't have a fraction. My denominator doesn't have a fraction. But wait, what bothers you about this? That minus sign. So then I go and I take that 1 over x to the third plus 1 over y to the fourth. DVD down. 1 over x squared plus 1 over y to the third. And then I heard to clear those fractions, I'm going to multiply top and bottom by the common denominator. The common denominator of all the denominators is going to be CDs. My common denominator is going to be the highest power. So then my highest power of x is 3. So that's x to the third. My highest power of y is x to the, oh, y. Shorten that up y to the fourth. For sure, for sure. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom, or each term, by that guy. And I do that now. Boom. Boom. I multiply this by x to the third, y to the fourth. Now some of you guys are like, why are you putting it in the numerator? Because that's like over one. So then down here, I'm going to multiply that by x to the third, y to the fourth, over one. So now both of those, they goes, they goes, they goes. Ooh, ooh. I'm going to take it right on down here. Come on, marker. So then, ooh, that's x to the third, y to the fourth, over. That x to the third plus x to the third, y to the fourth, over. y to the fourth, all over. Then it distributes in here too. Ooh, and then that's x to the third, y to the fourth, over x squared 
And then that's plus x to the third, y to the fourth, over! Yeah, this y to the fourth, finish him. Yeah, finish him! Uh, uh, oh, I have y to the fourth. Uh, uh, plus x to the third over uh, uh, you're one that's gonna be an x y to the fourth plus <laughs> got a little too into it uh, uh, oh you're one x to the third why? Oh, look at that. I've got a common factor. Take it over here. Boom. Take it down here. Whoa. Whoa there. So then, that's, why is that y to the fourth? It's y to the fourth. All right. So then I have a y to the fourth plus x to the third over. Down there I had that common factor. I'm going to pull out an xy and I'm left on the inside. I have a y to the third plus x squared. <sighs> Fully factored form probably preferred. I'm a little depressed because I thought I was going to get some more. Uh, uh! But I guess I could have left it there. Yeah! Just kidding. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. <laughs>